Hey Sagittarius, uh, a little love bonus for you uh, because someone had asked about love readings and I'll try to do a couple more. I just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> so Sagittarius, this is a bonus love reading. And I, to be honest, I asked for new love <laughs> and I wanted a chance to use this new deck, the Brady Tarot that was Gift it to me by Sag Gypsy. Thank you so much. It is so beautiful. Like, so beautiful. So let's get into it, Sag. Because mm, this is new. Keep in mind we're in Mercury Retrograde. And this is the weirdest week ever. <laughs> because, you know, we are seeing the Two of Swords here. And it's so funny because I feel like between you and another person, um, you kind of had the same wounds and it does, it does actually feel here like, um, there was hurt here and, and also doing nothing about it. You, you very much reached a crossroads with this person. Um, and, and just probably a feeling like it wasn't going to work. I don't actually feel like you had a full on um, relationship with this person, but if you did, there was just a certain, uh, point in time in which, you know, it's like you should have grown together. You were supposed to grow with this person, which often I feel like the universe sends us people that have similar wounds because we're supposed to help each other. And, and that is, that is what was supposed to happen, but oftentimes with the two of swords, I find we get so stuck in our own pain that we, we can't see it, you know, and it feels like this is something that didn't want to be seen. If I'm being honest with you, it feels like both people didn't see that, you know, because that's like two people locked in their own pain and it kind of like, to not doing nothing about nothing. <laughs> uh, very much it, it got to this place where you both were very conflicted about the relationship. Just kind of feeling like it it couldn't work. Well, they're 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 gonna be in touch. <laughs> they're gonna be in touch. Um because they don't like things the way that they are. Because it, there was no resolution here. There was no, I, I don't even, you know, there might have been a breakup of some kind. But it it actually on some level doesn't feel like there was a breakup. At one point you just maybe stopped talking. Maybe just stopped, you know, trying to do anything about this. You know, which is really interesting. Because in this card there's definitely a conflict. There's definitely inflicting pain kind of on each other. And you always had the ability to fix it. But it just feels like with this person, it just was no one was fixing anything. You know, well, I feel like they want to talk to you. Um, they feel bad about things. Um, and, and it could just be this person did nothing about nothing. Right? And they know that. They know that. And they want to talk. Uh, you know, it's like the tower is very unexpected. I, I feel like this is out of the blue and you won't be expecting to hear from this person. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles, that's kind of not knowing what to do with it. Uh, to be honest, maybe you just don't know what to say to this person. There's so much stagnancy here. This relationship kind of really went nowhere, you know. But I do feel as if you and this person have a telepathic kind of situation going on. Okay. I I feel like you do. And there, I feel like there were a lot of times with this person where there were things that you should have said that you didn't say. Both of you. And this person's in, in this position, to be honest, with the high priestess reverse, where they want to say the things they didn't say. They want to tell you the things they didn't tell you. 
and um, it, it kind of feels like they don't know how to be different with you, you know, because habits is here. I don't know if we will ever change. And with the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, I mean, this may have happened more than once. It may have happened more than once because the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Swords is talking about a pattern, you know, and it's, it's not dealing with the problems or, you know, or growing from the problems together. And this person very much wants to change that. With the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Swords, they're very much someone who, in general, runs away from their problems. Uh, but, you know, this even happened between you in some way. And they want to break this pattern. They want to come together. They want, they want what you guys are supposed to have had. And that is growing together. And I feel like this person may be getting... A little enlightened about that fact. And it, you know, with the high priestess reversed, you know, I feel like on some level this person was not really listening to their intuition. You know, this information was always available to them, but there's kind of a sense that they ran from it. You know, and I feel like this is you in the Nine of Wands energy because that's definitely Sagittarius. And, you know, you probably feel like you need to protect yourself from this person. And, you know, these are hummingbirds, which are, are usually pretty sweet birds, right? And it, it could have been that at one point it was a really sweet connection. And it just ended up not being so. <laughs> you know, being prickly. And, and I feel like um, it was, you knew that this person on some level was being dishonest with you. Okay. You knew they were keeping secrets. You knew that they, there were a lot of things that they didn't say. And, you know, because it kind of feels like even you, on some level, you know the things that they wanted to say that they didn't. Um, this person, they have a runner kind of energy, but, you know, I, I feel like you are at this point where you feel like you need to protect yourself. And the truth is, is they, they think they hid things from you, I believe, but they didn't really because you already knew and and that could you know look up as you you knew the times in which they were lying to you they don't want to be this person anymore you know um <laughs> but i feel like you're really guarded to the situation to be perfectly honest with you you know, um, they, now dishonesty and third party reversed, I mean, they let things interfere in this relationship. They let things get in the way. It could be they let people get in the way. Um, but I also feel like it wasn't another person. I, I feel like it was just this person's um, tendency to, to run away from things. You know, <laughs> to run away from things. And they want your understanding because they're trying to fix things here with you. They're trying to make them good. Um... And they're confident that this could work, <laughs> which is interesting. This person's pretty confident that it could work this time. <laughs> yep. 
because you know they they want a fresh chance with you Sedge. oh they sure do <laughs> they sure do and they're telling you that you know they've really been focused on changing that on changing this this energy there is a lot of hurt here though And they want to apologize for the hurt they've caused. Um, and, and they want to come back together. It, you know, there was a time with this person where there was a lot of joy, a lot of support. They want to go out or, or you know, at least have a good time with you. They want to mend things, if I'm being honest. They want to mend things. I feel like this person was very confused. Very, they were very confused about what they wanted. And well, the tower twice. And that is like, uh, it feels like there is energy in here that came in like the tower, maybe during the eclipse, who knows? Yeah, Queen of Cups. Oof. Knight of Wands again. And I feel like this person just really really thinks that this can be um different they they do very much want to make peace with you i know y'all it just keeps coming out for this stuff <laughs> it just keeps coming out you know and i feel like uh this week specifically and this may be happening wednesday because I was seeing something in the astrology about past people coming back. But, I mean, to be, to be honest, this person is trying to change. They are trying to change. So, let's see. Let's see what happens next, huh? Okay. So where is this taking Sagittarius? Where is this taking Sagittarius? Where is this taking Sagittarius? Wow, Ten of Cups, King of Cups. Where is this taking Sagittarius? Judgment. The Fool. Eight of Wands and the Two of Wands. What is Sag deciding? What is Sagittarius deciding? This is interesting. 
So, I mean, I feel like what's happening here is that you very much appreciate what they're saying. You even, I mean, there's a lot of understanding here and a lot of understanding the past. Um, to be quite honest with you, I feel like you are offering this person understanding. You may on some level be even be showing them support. But I feel like you are making the decision to move on. It feels that way. Like with the fool, I feel like you think about it a little bit. You continue talking to this person. You, you surely do continue talking to them. And you have a choice here with the two of wands and which way you can go, right? But, you know, with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords reversed, I just feel, it just feels to me like you don't believe this person is telling you the truth. And you don't really see it as an opportunity. And you're being very honest with them. You don't trust them. You do not trust them. Eight of Pentacles. Two of Swords. And I feel like you're telling this person, look, I've done so much work on myself. I've done so much work on myself and I'm in a good place. And I'm in too good of a place for someone to put me in the crossroads again. Because it does feel like this Two of Swords energy is something that you very often find yourself. It's a place you find yourself in with this person. And I feel like what you're saying is that I'm not willing to do that. You know, I, I'm not willing to do that Knight of Pentacles with the King of Swords. Interesting. Knight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, interesting, Three of Pentacles. <laughs> I just feel like you're saying to this person, like, how long before you do the same thing you did before and how long until you once again put us in this holding pattern because other people seem to be a uh, part of the issue as well. Like how long till that happens again, right? You want to, um, the stairway to light is a clean, is a clean slate. So you're willing to offer this person peace. You're also willing to offer them a, um, a clean slate. But I feel like uh, what you're not willing to do is go backwards. You know, so, you know, it's kind of that I'll wait and see what happens. But I'm not, you're not agreeing to anything. Basically. Basically, you're not agreeing to anything. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You guys asked for a love reading. I don't know what to tell you. Now, the stars on the bottom with the world. Okay. The seven of swords. Or the ten of wands. The king of wands. And the empress. It's bring, That's bringing in someone new. Because... What what ultimately happens is you realize that nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. They're still kind of uh, doing this push and pull energy. And, you know, no. And then in comes a king of wands, which could be a fire sign. Someone, a person of action. A person of vision. Who wants to give you what you deserve. There's the hierophant. And the Emperor, Temperance, and the Lovers. Wow. So you may have really felt as if this person 
before was a soulmate, but there's actually, you have another one coming. You have another one coming, one that you, if they're king of wands, that, that's very much close, you know, more understanding, the similar ways of thinking because of, you know, being a fire sign. For sure, for sure. Wow, that took a turn. <laughs> so that took a turn, Sag, for real. So let's see what the outcome is here. Seven of Wands, okay. The outcome. Three of Cups. What is the outcome? The Hermit, is that you don't, you choose, you don't choose the past person. I can tell you that. <laughs> Five of Wands, yeah. Two of Swords. Yeah, because they do the same thing. They do the same thing. And then you're, you know, in the same pattern with this person that always existed. King of Cups. Oh, there we go. And <laughs> there we go. So, like, it's, it's, it comes down to a choice. I feel like for a little bit, you may kind of, I don't know if I want to say juggling, <laughs> but a little bit, a little bit. The moon, and, and maybe you're just not sure which way to go. Um, maybe it's the way of yourself, you know, but the king and queen of cups is here. And it's hard. I feel like it's hard because of this past person. Um, there's definitely a sense of competition. So maybe this two of swords, this crossroads isn't exactly it, the past person, except that they do do a little bit of pulling back again. And you might feel like it's the same pattern returning. But I feel like um, that something about that's changed. And then you are forced to make a choice. Wow. That took a turn. That took a turn, Sag. Six of Wands, the Magician. The Six of Swords. I have no idea what you're planning to do here. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius, but I feel like this is just telling you what your choices are. Jeez. And so you have more than one choice here, Sag. You have more than one choice, so. I said what I said. <laughs> Toodles, Sag.